hey guys welcome to your 19th Java tutorial in which we are going to be going over arrays but not only are we going to be doing that we're actually going to be going a real over our real world application of arrays and we're going to be going over a few new concepts along the way uh, now that I've finished that intro let's actually get coding and I'll hit you guys up with a scenario uh, so let's say we have a teacher and he has a bunch of test scores say he wants to put them in an array and he wants to easily find the average of the test scores in that array that's our scenario let's start coding so uh, let's say we have an integer array named test scores with a bunch of integers from 0 to uh, 100 uh, so let's say this is a pretty good teacher you know he's get he's getting some really good scores he's, he's, he's doing a good job you know no more comments there really alright so he gets a ton of test scores oh yeah and sorry obviously All right, I just made a noob error guys int test scores with uh, these square brackets after it meaning that test scores is an array alright then so now that we've got our test scores array uh, let's actually well how do we find the average we need to find the sum of all the elements in the array and divide it by the number of elements in the array uh, so how are, how are we even gonna do this well let's first find the sum let's say sum is equal to well instead of actually guys doing test scores zero for the first element test scores one for the for the second element and stuff instead of actually doing all that we're actually gonna do a loop we're gonna make a loop that won't will work for any number of elements in the array so we can have five elements we can have six seven eight nine ten etc who cares but with this way we're gonna have to keep updating our sum variable. We're gonna keep ha have to keep adding on test scores and some other number in it to get the nth element of the array. So instead of actually doing all this, let's just create a for loop that'll do all that crazy work for us. So we pretty much have a sum variable, and we're gonna pre-initialize it to zero. So we'll use it later. Uh, and now let's, let's actually create a for loop. So how will we even loop through all the elements in our array? Well, let's think about it. We have a variable named i. We're going to set it equal to zero, and we are going to type here for the second parameter. I hope you guys, by the way, remember how to use this for loop. Remember, this is the this is the starting value. Uh, this is the condition it loops uh, it loops for, and uh, the last part after the last semicolon is how much you want it to increase each time. We're going to type type i plus plus for that right away, uh, and it's going to loop. All right, let me type this code first. I'm going to type test scores dot length, and what this code means is that this loop is gonna loop for the time period uh, sorry I, I hit my headset there the time period while i is less than test scores dot length and test scores dot length is the number of elements in this array or how long it is so in this case test scores dot length would be would be five and what the greatest thing about test scores dot length or this length uh, property of any array is that we can add another another score to this um, to this array and it'll keep updating test scores dot length which is actually really cool I think and it kinda lets us uh, keep everything in a compact little for loop and we won't have to update anything in our sum variable so uh, that being said what should we do every time this code loops well all we really want to do is add the value uh, we're gonna add I'm sorry my computer's being really slow today I don't, I'm not even sure why uh, let's plus equals test scores uh, and in parameters in the square brackets we're gonna put I and what this pretty much does is in the first case I is zero right so it's just gonna access the first element of the array then I increases by one and then this becomes one so it accesses the second element of our array and it keeps doing that until it accesses all of the elements on array in our array and adds it to sum and by the way guys I don't I don't think I've taught you this shortcut uh, sum plus equals uh, test scores it's pretty much the same thing as sum is equal to sum plus test scores uh, it's just a quick shortcut note there for you guys and now that we actually calculate our sum at the end of this for loop what else do we want to do well let's calculate our average let's make an int average take our sum and divide it by the number of elements in our array which again we can access by saying test scores dot length and at the very end let's print out the user a nice message that says the average of the numbers the average, average of the test scores is and now let's simply add our average variable with our string combinations oh let's hit that play button there and hit OK 
and we should get a number for our average. One sec. It's still it's still processing. This is this is the output from another program from the last time I ran this. And and the average of the test scores is 94. How great is that? And guys, what what's amazing is that we can pretty much just update our test scores array with anything we want. We could add or delete elements. It really doesn't matter and it's going to update our average accordingly. The average of the test scores is 96. Uh, yeah, and that being said, guys, I want to conclude this tutorial for now. Uh, I don't know. I, I decided to make my tutorial slightly shorter, uh, so they, they're not as much information in such a long period of time and stuff. Uh, so I think I'll split this array tutorial into another part, yet another part. Uh, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I don't know. I'll give you guys a quick review. The only real part was... The new part was the for loop here, where we use test scores dot length, uh, where we say pretty much we have an integer i set equal to zero, and while i is less than the number of elements in our array or test scores dot length, we want to increase the value of i by one. Every time uh, i increases by one, uh, every time it loops and it accesses the next element of our array, so zero, one, two, three, etc. And here we pretty much uh, use the number test scores dot length to access the number of elements in our array and to find our average uh, so that was a kind of brief review I think there's still some interesting stuff to go over with arrays we're gonna go over it in the next tutorial uh, but anyways guys thanks for watching this tutorial and I will see you later